My name is Phil and welcome to Phil Does 3D. I'm a multimedia and 3D artist and I stream live on Twitch on Mondays and Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific time in the United States, which is midday in Australia or 1 a.m. if you're in the UK. Uh, remember, if you miss the live streams, you can catch up with the premier event streams on a Friday and Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific time in the US, which is 9 a.m. in Australia or 10 p.m. if you're in the UK. I hope all you guys and girls are well. Um, remember, if you have any questions while I'm working, please feel free to pop into chat and ask me. Uh, if you just want to pop in and say hello, that's always welcome. But if all you want to do is watch, that's completely fine. So we're going to be working on our um, Temple of the Winds 3D model. We're combining photogrammetry with uh, 3D geometry to create a new sort of model based on the photogrammetry. So let's jump into Max. So we have photogrammetry pieces that we're recombining into a new type of 3D model. Uh, then we're going to take the pieces into Mari and Substance Painter to texture them up. And finally, we're going to take the final model into Eon View to do some beauty renders in a 3D environment. Okay, so just let me catch up with um, Discord here, make sure I'm all caught up with everything. Remember too, if you haven't joined the Discord server, please feel free to. I'll pop the link in chat right now. Um, everyone's free to post links in Discord, but only subs can post links in my Twitch chat. So, no links in Twitch chat, you'll get banned or timed out. Uh, but everyone can post links on the Discord server, and there's a gallery section that you can show off your work there. Okay. Let's continue finishing these bits and pieces for this model, and then hopefully next week we can start doing some texturing. I think what we need to do is we need to cap off these end rail pieces. So let's copy these around because we don't want the railing just disappearing into the column like that. So we better fix it. Let's just make a copy. I'm just going to move into the local axis here. It's going to be easier for me to um, move this around. And I think we'll pop it just there and I'll remove that bar in two seconds. Just move it over just a little bit more. Smith Red Barbecue, good to see you, buddy. Uh, yeah, get, uh, talking about that question you had, yeah, that's uh, instance materials in UE4, adding parameters to the instance after you've already created it is a problem. <laughs> Thank you for the host, too, Smith Red. Um, you, you, yeah, Sniper Echo's suggestion of looking at the um, was it the Paragon Assets? Yes, the Paragon Assets and Materials that Epic Games released is a good one. But I, I would have thought it would just be easier to create a new instance with the parameters you want. It's still an instance. It's not like you're going to be using much more memory by making a new instance based on a new... adding some parameters to the material. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I did use instance materials, but I didn't add any new ones after I'd created the instance in that UE4 cinematic we did, so. Now, the only other thing I could think of was would be to uh, to maybe do it in a blueprint. Maybe add, add them to it in a blueprint. Maybe. Let us position them all, and then I'm going to go and slice the bits of the railing off that uh, are too long. I think that's the easiest way to go.
Let me make sure I finish this. I, I don't have that intersecting the column as well. I might take it to about there, I think. No problems, Mercury. Yeah, I think we'll take it to about there. Let's keep duplicating it around. And we'll take this one to about... to about there, I think. Should be good. That should be good. Just want to make sure I got this one in the middle. Yeah, that's fine. Rotate you. I'll take this one down to about here. Sniper girl, it's good to see you, Sniper girl. How are you? Um, I wanted to ask you, I forgot yesterday actually, how's your mum, Sniper girl? So I know she was having that surgery. I'm just curious as to how things are going. Is, how are you? Are you okay? It's always stressful when um, people are sick around you. A friend of mine, a good friend of mine, um, went to the doctor the other day. He's having problems with his heart as well, by the way. Um, he has to have a stint, possibly have a stint put in. And he's a bit, bit worried about that. Let's pull this one back in. You return. Good to see Mercury Barbecue. It's not the same unless you're here. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can't pull you over just a little bit more. Okay, let's make another copy. I do not want to rotate you like that. Now you behave. Behave, Max. Behave. Uh, Sniper Girl says uh, she's probably going to be having the bypass surgery Monday or Tuesday. She's currently doing physical therapy at the hospital to build up her strength. Well, I hope everything goes well. I'm sure it will. These operations, even though they're, you know, operating on your heart, they know what they're doing now. They've done quite a few of those sort of thing operations now. So that's what I've been telling my friend that's having the may need the stint in his heart to try and reassure him. But any any operations is is always risky though. I'm not going to uh, pretend it's not. But I'm sure she'll be all right. Just selecting these bits and pieces and then we'll go into isolation mode. Sniper Girl says, uh, I've been okay burying myself with work. Currently having four out of six pages of the newspaper article done. Working on the fifth page currently. Cool. Uh, I saw the, um, the images you posted in the Discord. Yeah, all those alpha maps for, for newspapers would be a pain. A major pain. It look cool though. Your idea of um, what you want to do with them sounds really cool. It'll be worth the pain, I'm sure. Let's just ungroup that. And let's start fixing up our railings. So 
So let's quick slice it through there. I must stop moving my top viewport. Naughty Philip. Uh, Snappy Girl says, yeah, it's been a pain. Honestly, seeing people that have newspaper wallpaper in houses, that have newspaper wallpaper. Oh, really? In houses, never in vehicles. So I think about, you know, it sounds like a great idea. I've never seen anyone have newspaper wallpaper. That sounds pretty, pretty cool, actually. Newspaper wallpaper. Hmm. But your idea for the um for the van sounds really cool. Oh, we got to turn the quick slice off. Must remember to do that. And it didn't quick slice. Let's do that again. Let me make sure I'm using, that's fine. Hooray for tedium, Smithbury Barbecue. <laughs> that's the business of 3D. A lot of stuff is very tedious, I'm afraid. Web development is the same. Um, it can be incredibly tedious too. I'm just going to move this one down just a little bit. There we go. I just wanted to hide that end piece there. Uh, Smurfberry, Snapper, Snapper Girl says, yeah, you got that right. Smurfberry says, oh my god, I'm so bored with remeshing this part. <laughs> well, you did want to do it by hand, Smurfberry, didn't you? You've only got yourself to blame. Sniper Girl says it's going to look cool. I really don't see anybody actually paying too much attention to the writing that's on the wall. Although I did see that Sniper Echo read one of the articles, so you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised what people pay attention to, Sniper Girl. Mercury says, "Well, I'm getting, while well, I'm getting better results. Yeah, no, I, I joke, but it is true. You will always get a better result doing it by hand than using a, an automatic remesher because they're not smart, not as smart as you or me, Smokeberry. They don't have a brain. They can't work out the most optimal way to do it. So they always do a worse job than doing it by hand. But they do it so quickly. You don't have to worry about it. That's what I love about it." None of that tedious hand remeshing. It's a good, it's a good way to um, to get it to like use the automated tools and then go over it by hand. That's probably the easiest way if you really want to do it by hand. At least that's what I found. So you can get most of the tedium out of the way doing the automatic remeshing, and then touch it up by hand. Nipper Girl says uh, he has a point. <laughs> Smurfery says sitting at 5,566 triangles on the red part now and can still squeeze a bit more out of it. Well, be careful, like I said, Smurfery, because there's a lot of curved geometry. Uh, if you go too low, you're going to have a problem. You don't want to go too low. You I'm gonna 
Reslice that again. It doesn't look like it took my reslice for some reason. Slice. Smurkery says, yes, carefully balancing silhouette and plane changes. Yeah, it's all about the silhouette. Um, same thing goes for if you're doing normal, your normal mapping. Why are you not slicing properly? Um, yeah, a normal map can take, can put details on a low poly mesh, but it's the silhouette you have to worry about. If the silhouette, because it's going to look odd. It can look odd if you're not careful anyway. Sniper Girl says, uh, a reference image thinking it's a cool look. Well, let's have a look. Just let me copy the link. Oh, that does look cool. Pinterest, is this Pinterest? Yeah, Pinterest. I hate Pinterest, you know, um, because I don't have an account and I refuse to open one. If you try and look at any of these things, it you know it, it grays out the entire screen and wants you to log in. I hate that about Pinterest so much. So unfortunately, I can't click on any of these to look at them closely. But it does look really cool. I never thought of would have thought of doing that either. It's very trendy, very hip. I like the bathroom actually. Doing it below the runner there. It looks really cool. Yeah, it looks very cool. All these ideas people come up with, wow. Even though they've even just turned one into like a print on the wall. That's that's cool too. Very nice. Um, Smoker says there are a number of edge loops that I want to preserve for deformation in order to create variations on the plant. There are a number of edge loops you want to preserve. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. If you're going to be deforming or, or um, doing any sort of uh, alteration to the mesh, yeah, you want to make sure you've got enough edge loops so you don't run into problems. Another girl says, I love Pinterest, should see my account, have one for every major project that I do. Well, I'm not knocking the fact that Pinterest is great for this sort of thing, but I would like just to be able to look at stuff without having to open an account. That's what pisses me off with Pinterest. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to just be able to open stuff up and not have Pinterest sort of say, no, 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 unless you open an account and log in, you can't look at that. I mean, I get it. I, I get it. I, I know why. Facebook did the same thing. And I won't ever open a Facebook account, so. For inspiration, no, again, I've looked at Pinterest for stuff as well. Um, inspiration for stuff that I want to make too. Not so much modeling stuff or uh, digital artwork sort of stuff. I've, I've checked it out for that. Crosswind, it's good to see you, Crosswind. Uh, says, my sentiments as well. Uh, I have a love-hate for Pinterest, great collections of images, but the account nonsense is extremely annoying. I don't want to make an account either. No, neither do I. I mean, I want to look at the images. I, I don't want to open an account. I, mean, I get why they do it. Like I said, they're a business. The more people that sign up, the better the business model is, but it's annoying. I guess they at least let you look at them like this without popping up that horrid login thing. Yeah. Oh, look, look, there we go. Gotta love Pinterest so much. <laughs> wow. Oh, but yeah, Facebook do the same thing. So you can't single Pinterest out. Facebook are the same. Smurfberry says you can get the full images without an account, but you have to futz with the page source. <laughs> That's too much work. I just want to look at a quick image. I mean, you know, yeah, I, I, I get where you're coming from. But I'm just more inclined to close Pinterest down and, and look at Google Images then if I need to find a specific image. Generally you'll find that anything that's on Pinterest is, is referenced and catalogued by Google Images anyway. So that's the other option. If you don't want to open an account on Pinterest and you see an image you like, you can always find it on Google. Uh, Crosswind says, yeah, I have ad block, no script, and there's ways uh, around the login with them. Oh, cool. <laughs> 
Um, Smoker says, yeah, you can just reverse image search it on Google or Tenai. I'm not familiar with Tenai. I have to check that out. Uh, generally, if I'm looking for reference stuff, or maybe if I'm doing a 3D model, I need a reference image because I can't quite picture how the thing is supposed to look. Uh, I always use Google Images generally, just just to get a reference. It's good for that. Although now they have those that big warning coming up every time you look at an image on Google Images that says this image may be subject to copyright. Never used to be like that. Which is fair enough. If people are taking the photographs, they have the copyright, so yeah, I don't don't disagree. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I still use it for reference. And when they talk about copyright, they mean just using the image as it is as, and calling it your own. If you use the image, like sometimes I will use images to um, to texture up a model. Uh, uh, and in that re regard, I think you're safe with the copyright because you're not using the image as it was taken. You're taking the image and converting the, the te you're converting it into a texture. So, uh, actually, a good example of that will was this model here. Let me show you. Um, it's on the creative one of, one of the models on the creative market that you might think was done using photogrammetry was actually not. Go away. This one. This um, ornate classical gate, I'm calling it, was not created using photogrammetry. I created that by using a photograph that somebody had taken and remodeled it based on the photograph. Oh, this this model is is unique. To, it's my design, but the the doorway here was actually the doorway of like a um, I think it was a church or something. And so I took elements from that photograph and recombined it into a new 3D model, but I did that by hand in Max, not using photogrammetry. So, so don't think you need to use photogrammetry to get, you can just, just do it by hand in Max, just takes a bit longer, that's all. That's stealing, it's not stealing. I'm not using the original photograph. I'm just just using the text uh, using the photo as a texture to make a model. If I was using the original photograph and calling it mine, then that would be stealing. I don't tend to do that much anyway because um, it's quicker to do it in photogrammetry now. <laughs> Sniper Girl says, uh, I've been using a lot of royalty free, yeah, there's that too. Royalty free images for the newspaper articles. Found some good searches via Google and it's saving time. Yeah, don't forget the royalty free stuff too. Just, um, which, you know, they, they want you to use, they allow you to use their stuff. So, there's always that. And there's a good range in royalty free, a good range of stuff that you can use that's royalty free. Get rid of that one in there. And get rid of you. And you. Every time, why do I always hit the Windows key? I want to hit the um, the Alt key, and I always end up hitting the Windows key. Uh, we might keep that one just there, I think. But we'll get rid of this one here. And these two. And I think we might be back to the beginning now. OK, 
Okay, so we've capped off all of our railing sections. That's good. All right, let us chamfer up these um, smaller steps, I think. I forgot to do that, these little half circle steps. Uh, these have to be removed to these pieces that run around the outside edge, but uh, we'll do that once we make a copy because we do want to have a, a version where there are no stairs for people. Let's chamfer these up first. Now I'm being lazy here, I really should select the edges before I chamfer, but we may be able to get away with it. Uh, just a little bit like that, I think. Just a little bit of a soft edge. Uh, actually, one of the things I really liked about getting back to this Corona renderer, there is a um, an effect you can add when you do a render in, in Corona. It's called Soften Edges which means you can leave all your edges hard and when the renderer actually comes to do the rendering it automatically softens up all those edges for you which I thought was pretty cool so you don't have to worry about going around and softening up all your edges if you use Corona you can just use the effect that uh, does it for you automatically I'm going to pull that back just a little bit I champered these up didn't I? Sure, yeah, I did. Cool. Let's copy that chamfer so we can paste it on the other two. Snappy Girl says, yeah, wow, that's amazing. It would save so much time. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Uh, and it's a good thing for the studio too because you know one of my bugbears, guys and girls, is I hate a hard edge. So I'm always harping on about making sure your edges are, are not hard. Um, and a lot of the time I'm constantly having to tell the uh, some of the junior artists at the studio to, to remember to do it. This will save a huge amount of time because if they forget and we have a, an urgent project that we need to have rendered up, um, we can just throw down this effect in Corona if they're using Corona and it'll do it automatically. It's incredibly cool. I think that's it. I think I've done all three. Yes, good. Okay. Next, 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 next. Let's move back to this. I forgot we were working on our um, wrought iron work for our columns. So let's have a look at that. Uh, we want to chamfer these up so that they're not hard as well. Sniper Girl says, I ended up getting a, a crease plus tool for Maya. I've been using that to soften edges on high poly meshes for baking. Uh, it can be a pain to use. <laughs> but Kill for Something would automatically do it for me. I, I just get into the habit of doing it now anyway. Um, but it can be a pain. And there are times I've forgotten a bit, of, you know, to do a, a soft edge, a chamfer on something somewhere. Um, so it's easy to do. It's easy to forget. But it's important. It's important to make it look real. Let's copy that chamfer to this bottom one. Uh, so it'll just make it easier though for the guys and girls at the studio though. So instead of, you know, they won't have to go right throughout their scenery chamfering stuff they've forgotten. If they use Corona, they can just throw the effect down and it'll take care of it for them. I would still tell them to do it. But there are deadlines sometimes that we're on at the studio where you don't have the luxury of the time to go through and do it. So it, it'll be a godsend for that. Yeah, it is important. It is important. I'm just going to throw the same chamfer down on these side pieces as well.
All right. Let us, I'm just going to remove this column. We were only using it to get a size. And let's uh, attach all these pieces together. Good. And we're just going to call it column deco. I really have to start going through and uh, renaming some of this stuff so it's nice and organized too. All right. Let's uh, just reposition our pivot in the middle so it makes it easier for us to move around. Let's hide everything else so that we can more easily place them on the columns. I think I got all the columns. Let's do it in the top viewport. We'll do any small adjustments um, once I place them all. I'm doing this again just to bring in some of the wrought iron work into the columns to help to tie the composition together. And just to add a bit more interest to these columns because they're a bit plain. can't remember where I started so let me jump out of the top viewport and have a look. Okay, one more left. Oh. Alright, let's check them to make sure that they're uh, sitting correctly. I think what I'm going to do here too is I'm just going to rotate them around a little bit so that they're, uh, the design is all facing in the same direction. So we'll have that bit in the middle. We need to be, we must be all the way around by now. There we go, back to the beginning. Uh, let's jump out of isolation mode. 
this will stand out a lot more once the uh, columns textured up. The difference between the column texture and the wrought iron will stand out a lot more. But it just helps to tie our design pieces together a bit more. Uh, we could move them up or down. I think we'll leave them in the middle. It's probably the best. If we pull them down, it's going to start to get a bit too heavy through here. And if we pull them up, I think it's going to get a bit too heavy up the top because of all these decorative pieces here on the top of the column. So I think the middle is probably the best, um, best spot. Okay, what else do I need to do? Um, we need to put some decorative work around here and we need to uh, take these stairs into ZBrush as well. So let's start with, um, with these bits, I think. Let's open our group and let's just do a quick save as well. Snappy Girl says, am I the only one that wished that Photoshop had spell check? <laughs> Actually, I think it does. I think Photoshop, I, I, I thought it did. I'm going to check that in two seconds. Let's wait for this to finish saving out. I thought Photoshop did have spell check if you use the type tool. I could be wrong, but I thought it did. Let's have a look. You got me curious. It does, it's just not auto oh, not automatic. No, no, no red underline. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, that, that's a very handy as you type a, a word. Discord do it as well. If you misspell something, it'll show it up for you. Yeah, no, I'm pretty, it does. It does have spell check. I've, I've used um, spell check in Photoshop. Same with uh, Dreamweaver. If you're doing web page stuff, it has a spell check as well, but um, it's only for the type tool, I believe. What well, makes sense, doesn't it? You wouldn't need it if you weren't typing. It spelled dog incor incorrectly. Uh, where did they put it? Maybe it's in the text tool itself. It is here, I'm sure it's here. Type. Rasterize, warp, panels, orientation. You found it? Okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, it would have surprised me if, if Adobe hadn't put that in. Because, yeah, I know it's in, um, it's in Dreamweaver. I use it all the time if I'm doing text on a web page and I misspell something. It shows up pretty much immediately with that red underline saying, this is wrong. You're stupid, this is wrong. You can't spell this is wrong. Okay, back to Max. Uh, yes, this is what we're working on, isn't it? But I'm just going to use, I'm going to work with the one at the top, I think it might be easier. Okay. Yeah, we'll work with the one at the top. Let's jump into isolation mode. Actually, just before we do that, I have to decide what sort of design I want here. I'm going to copy the design that's here or go for something a little bit different. Um, <laughs> Smurfberry says, Phil Fairmaster of the Obvious. Thank you, Smurfberry Barbecue. <laughs> 
know the girl says I suck at spelling, been using Google searches for two, for checking my spelling. Yeah, I'm the same. My spelling is atrocious. If I didn't have spell check, I would be in all sorts of trouble. Um, my spelling has gotten slightly better over the years, but it's still pretty bad. I just rely on spell check for everything. Uh, even that can be a problem though, because, you know, some words in the English, English language uh, have, a, have spell the same but have a different meaning if that makes sense so there is something or the, like there and there that type of thing t-h-e-r-e -E or t-h-e-i-r i-e-r -E <laughs> you see my spelling's bad um and so spell check can be sometimes caught up there as well it's getting better the grammar check is, is getting better another girl says not that it really matters really don't think uh i'll get a i'll get it on an article by paragraph three you misspelled a word <laughs> Yes, no, spell check for the win and calculators for the win as well. I use the built-in calculator here in, in Windows constantly. It hurts my brain to, to do math. Well, I'm just going to copy these decorative pieces up to the top and we'll work out what sort of decoration we want to have around the lower terrace here. Uh, we could go with the same sort of decoration we've got there. I'm just going to pull back and look at the model and decide. I think I want to make this central terrace a little bit more unique, so I don't really want to copy the exact same pattern down here. Uh, I'm just going to rotate these around. But what I might do is I might use the smaller decorative pattern here on its own, not the larger one. So let's grab that. Let's size it up first. And to size it up properly, I actually want to make a bit of an alteration to the base here. I want to pull it in like we did with uh, this base. So jump into isolation mode. Turn off our map seams, because I hate seeing map seams. There we go. And uh, let's, let's, let's throw an edit poly down. I'm just going to turn on edge spaces. Okay. Let's do edge spaces here as well. And I'm going to do a quick slice. Through. Hey, Sniper Echo, good to see you, buddy. How are you? Um, we're going to do a couple of quick slices. Actually, I'm looking at the wrong direction. Let's go to the back. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'll do a quick slice through here. Android Lust, it's good to see you, Android Lust. How are you? Smoker says, oh god, I can turn down my cheeky levels and let Sniper Echo take it. <laughs> Yes, you're so close to a full slap there, Smurfberry Barbecue. I don't generally hand them out to you because you're normal, normally you're pretty good. Um, you've been close, you've been borderline. Whereas Sniper Echo, he gets them all the time. Let us uh, scale this in a little bit. No, I said scale it in, there we go. Not quite that much though. That looks good. That'll be good. Let's lift it up a little bit so it's straight. There we go. Now we can turn off edge faces. So hey, hey, hey to you two Android last. It's good to see you. <laughs> I 
Sniper wants Mercury to, to crank that shit up. Sniper Girl says, doing well, uh, not talking to me, okay. <laughs> yeah, the band is looking cool. That's okay, we have a bit of a soft edge there, but I'm going to be covering that up anyway, I think. Just trying to work out there might be a better way to do that. Sniper AK, you're gonna get a slap. Yeah, you're gonna get a slap. You're gonna get. Um, you're gonna get a raspberry, because why not? I don't use my raspberry often enough. Um, let us, let us get out of subobject mode. There we go. And let's copy this um, border from the top, because I want a border around the middle as well. Sniper Rick says, Sniper Girl, have one. Uh, wait, what did I know? I, but, uh, uh, <laughs> you said shit equals stuff, Bill. That's what you said. You know what you said, Sniper Echo. That's why you got a raspberry. Snappy Girl says, yeah, come out for the night. You got, got a name for it? Cool. <laughs> uh, uh, no, we might, we might leave that sticking out that far, I think. I was going to pull that um, lower section in a little bit, this, um, this border, but it's sticking out about as far as the large terrace, so it should be okay. Uh, Snappy Girl says, anybody that knows comics, Rocky Rocket is the name that the Rocket Raccoon uses. I don't know, but I uh, think it would be a commercial name. Didn't they have something like that in um, in Fallout, one of the Fallout games as well, the Rocket Cafe or something? I thought it had some, some catchy, cute name. I could be wrong. It was ages ago I played Fallout. So now we can scale this one up to the right size. Let's just push it in so it is in the right spot. So I, when I scale it, I get it right. Let's do a uniform scale and then I'm going to bring it in a bit because it's a bit thick on the local axes. Should be good. Now let us let us grab that and that and let's grab this one. Snipergirl says, got kind of uh, in the Marvel feeling when I came up with the name. And Snipe says, I guess it makes it more sense that naming it after a cute tree. Let's jump into the top viewport. And let's scale this up. Yeah, let's scale it up. Uh, 
Let's do a non-uniform scale. I don't have to take it all the way to the edges because it, it, from about here on it's all covered up inside of the, um, or is it? Maybe not. Snappy Girl says, if you're wondering what we're talking about, we're talking about this character. Okay, let me have a look. Because I am wondering what you're talking about. And I'm thinking, why am I being left out of the conversation? Rocket Raccoon. I've never heard of this character. Oh, okay. The rock. Oh, I do. I do know the raccoon. Yeah, it's very cute. I do know the character. I've watched the um the movies. I actually like Groot. I think the most, as far as characters in that movie series go, I like Groot. Or, or mini Groot now, is because he's you know regrowing. This <laughs> mini Groot is so cute. But the the raccoon, yeah, he's cute too. So surly. The movies are really great. I love the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movies. They're always, both of them have been really good. Let us. Let us, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for. Refine, that's what I want. I'm going to start refining this spline just a little bit. It might make it easier for me to match up the shape. Another uh, girl says, I, I do too, but really don't think that a, a Groot reference would work well for a vehicle name. No, you're probably right. Uh, do be careful though with those sort of names, any any of those sort of names, because they probably are copyrighted. Like our little raccoon friend there. And they'll come at you, they will come at you. <laughs> Particularly if it's anything to do with Fox Studios, wow. They will come for you like nobody's business. Trust me. I've done work for the studio, for Fox, and they're terrible. Well, they're protecting their IP, that's what they'd say, and that's true, but they're still terrible. Terrible, terrible. Trying to get this to fit nice and neatly. Uh, Andrew Lost says, I still need to watch those movies. What am I doing with my life? Yeah, do. They're really good, really good movies, really worth watching. So, the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, both one and two, definitely worth a watch. I enjoyed both of them. Visual effects are beautifully done. Um, story is really interesting. Characters are great. Worth a watch. Definitely worth watching. Okay, let's just move you up a little bit. In fact, I'm going to move you to the front here.
Uh, Snuffy Girl says, yeah, you really do need to. Snuffy Girl says, uh, it's a portfolio piece. You really don't think people will complain too much. Snuffy Girl says, and the name of the vehicle is Rocket Rocket. Rocky Rocket. Yeah, again, for portfolio pieces, you're probably right. You probably can, you can be able to get away with that. I just don't do anything commercially with somebody else's name because that's when you get in trouble. Um, although, if you like, if you're remaking a game, you can get in trouble that way as well. Like some people have tried to remake some of the Mario games, and um, Nintendo have said no. They tend to say no after these groups have worked for a year making it and they're just about ready to release it and the company like Nintendo would say comes to them and says no you do that we'll see you but you're, you're quite right for a portfolio piece you're probably probably pretty safe Sniper Echo says Android Lust watch them yep yeah, we'll never ever go back to ZBrush after seeing <laughs> ah Legmog it's good to see you Legmog how are you buddy Legmog says, ah, oh, Guardians of the Galaxy don't have a pinch on the uh, Street Fighter movie from the 90s with uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Oh, God. That is a terrible movie. It's terrible. Is that the one with Kylie Minogue in it as well? Didn't she appear in one of those Street Fighter movies? She's an Australian singer if you don't know who Kylie Minogue is. Yeah, I don't know. His acting is just atrocious, that guy. Jean-Claude Van Damme is an atro atrocious actor. And he's, he's really, apparently, really sexist as well like there have been stories about him groping women and stuff so that's not good that's not cool it's the leg that's right uh leg Mark says i've been watching a lot of sculpting streamers now oh, good lord i'm getting ripped muscly dude physique fatigue <laughs> yeah generally you find with a lot of a lot of people that sculpt in zbrush they they make all their characters mega ripped and they make all of their female characters mega top heavy. I don't know why. It must just be the juvenile age of most of the people I think using ZBrush. It's just the mindset of those weird ZBrush people. It was the same when I was working in games. So the designers wanted big beefy male characters and they wanted big top heavy female characters. But the, you know these these are these were designers that were like in their early twenties. So what does that tell you? I'm just going to do a reset on the X form here to make sure that my um, pivot and everything is correct. And let us do a a space tool align. Uh, let's pick the how we're going to follow. Let's pick the path. And let's work on the number of instances. And it's around the wrong way. Why are you around the wrong way? That's okay. You wanna you wanna be difficult? That's fine. I can fix you. Let's rotate it 180 degrees. And do that again. There we go. I'll get it to do what I want it to do one way or another. Uh, I want to pull these right in until they're just about touching each other. Let's apply that. Uh, Leg Mug says, reminds me of what she's... Reminds me of what you say, Phil. Machine guns and cars don't impress me. <laughs> I guess ripped muscly dudes uh, have now taken their place amongst the yawn factor of showreels. <laughs> Pretty much. I think they were always amongst the yawn factor of showreels. Big muscly dudes and big top heavy women. Smurfery says, unpopular opinion. Character art in general is boring. <laughs> oh, some character artists would be screaming at you, Smurfery. Okay, let's just get this um, this one out of the way so I can check what's going on here. That's fine. They're just about touching each other. Uh, we can get rid of the ones at the back though because we don't want them. Mm -hmm. 
I'll leave that one there just in case. Look at Nightbot spamming my links. Look at it. Uh, and, and yeah, and like, if you like making those sort of characters, well then more power to you. You do what you want. If you want to, if, you, if you're one of those people that wants to make super muscly men and super top heavy women, you, you have at it. It's, you know, you do what you, you do what makes you happy. I'm not suggesting you don't. Just please don't fill your portfolio full of that sort of thing. That's all, all I'm saying. Please don't do that. Uh, I'm just going to group them. So if I need to move them again, it, I can easily select them. Sniper Girl says, oh, well how we ban Nightbot for spamming. <laughs> no, I, I, look, I tell you, that that bot has a mind of its own. It, I've, I've, I've adjusted my Nightbot settings countless times since in the in the year or two I've been streaming, and it still does it. No matter what I set the timeouts for, it still does it. And it doesn't just do it once. It sort of spams constantly, sometimes message after message after message. And they're all set to different timers, so I don't know. Legmonk says, Smurf, in my philosophical opinion, I think, uh, and uh, philosophical, philosophical? Oh, that, that, that's bad, isn't it? Um, I think an artist, I think as an artist, you're either a Da Vinci or a Van Gogh. What's wrong with either Da Vinci or Van Gogh? Someone who places great emphasis on art being technically correct, like uh, it's a science. Or just abstract, throw stuff at the canvas and follow your own chaotic rules. Well, both are valid. Both are valid types of art. And Drew Lust says, well, my next two sculpts will be a muscle man and a top heavy woman. <laughs> Make sure you show us. Um, Sniper Echo says, I'm not detecting my portfolio right now, I swear. I'm not deleting my portfolio. <laughs> Legmonk says, I get a lot of Da Vinci vibes from people who are uber into sculpting. Just for me, the thought of learning the uh, science behind the human anatomy makes my brain bleed. Yeah, a good friend of mine is a character artist is like that. He's constantly using medical books for reference and you can buy you can actually buy like uh, models now that you can use for reference if you want you're modeling the human body and you use a, a 3d model for reference uh, but he used to use medical books and was constantly looking at the muscle structure and stuff that laid underneath of a person's skin so he could when he was sculpting in zbrush he was getting it all correct but it's just too much for me i don't i don't do character stuff i don't animate and i don't do character stuff but i stick to environments it's my bread and butter. I uh, Sniper says, I tried to ban the bot. He ain't having it. No, you can't ban the bot. Sniper goes, <laughs> Nightbot has too much power, Smurfery says. It cannot be stopped. That's right. Nightbot cannot be stopped. It's like the Terminator. You will never stop the Nightbot. I might just go through here and just adjust a couple of these by hand um, simply because I've noticed because the path wasn't a complete circle we're not getting completely even spacing between the pieces here thankfully it's a small piece of geometry so there's not a lot for me to adjust uh, I also want to remove some of them from the front here too so I'm just going to select these pieces and we'll jump back into isolation mode Let us open up this group. I'm just going to temporarily make this uh, see-through and I'm going to freeze the mesh so I don't accidentally select it. And now we can get rid of these ones. Yeah, we'll get rid of that one too. Oh, come on. Come on. Thank you. Uh, let's just space these out evenly as well. Uh, I'm actually going to remove these ones too. 
So using the spacing tool got us 90% of the way there. We're just going to have to make a couple of corrections by hand. Make sure we're in the local axes. In fact, I think what I'll do here is I will start from the front and work my way back. And then we can just duplicate this base around to the other two steps. I'll just copy it and remove the old one. Uh, doing it this way too is good because again it makes things less perfect. We still actually we must do that too with the railing sections. We have to go through and just um, move a couple of them so they're not quite so perfect. Leg Mark says, yeah, I guess I'm too rooted in chaos. The thought of uh, aligning myself to any sort of logic or order is like sunlight to a vampire. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to jump into ZBrush soon to do those steps and I'm not looking forward to it because you guys know how much I love ZBrush. Just trying to find anything in those menus. Wow. And that should work for what we want. Let's just do the other side. Nova says, don't get me started on the mods in the channel. Just outrageous. It is outrageous. These moderators in the channel are outrageous. I agree. They should be punished. i got a real mean streak, haven't I? Don't piss Phil off. <laughs> That's not true. I'm a pussycat. Unless you piss me off. Sniper Girl says, I know, uh, isn't ZBrush interface great? It is just amazing. It's the best thing I've ever seen in my life, that interface of ZBrush. It's just, I want to say perfection, but I don't. It's just, 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 mm. Pixel logic, you have your own, uh, your own logic to everything, don't you? So many people have complained about it over the years. I'm amazed that they don't do something about it. But they, I, they're French, so maybe they're just being stubborn. Maybe. Maybe that's the reason. Just going to unfreeze the steps and we can... Um, help if I select something. There we go. <laughs> and we can un, uh, make it unsee through. There we go. <laughs> Sniper Girl says agree. All mods here are ass hats. <laughs> Sniper says I'm not saying you're wrong, but wow. <laughs> uh, Okay, now just before I copy this piece around to the other two, we do want to place a border just around the root base as well. So let's make a copy of this one and do that. Actually, did I make, yeah, let, let's do that first. Bring it in. Let's 
Legmog says, uh, I for one applaud Sniper Girl for, for standing up and saying what we're all secretly thinking. That's right. <laughs> Those evil, evil mods. Okay, let's uh, copy these ones down too. And one for the bottom. And let's move it in. Smurfo says we're all thinking give Smurf a billion dollars, right? <laughs> no, we're all thinking give Phil a billion dollars, aren't we? Give Smurf and Phil a billion dollars, that's what we're thinking. Just gonna delete that because we don't need it. Okay, let us. Let us close that group and we're going to attach it to this group and let's close the entire group. Legmog says, well, uh, I, was, I was thinking give Smurf a billion dollars uh, of Legmog's of Legmog store coupons. <laughs> Don't spend it all at once, Smurf. Those Legmog coupons, they're priceless. You don't want to go handing them out willy-nilly, Legmog. Are you part of that group? Why did I put you as part of that group? Don't do that. Let's just open that group. Oh, you're part of that group. Okay, let's just open that group. And detach it from that group. There we go. Groups within groups. Let's close that group. And close that group. We will uh, be attaching all these pieces together shortly. Okay, so that's one piece. I can remove that because I don't need it. Okay, so we've, we've um, decorated up that uh, the half circle pieces. I don't want to redo all of that spacing along these two, so I'm just going to just going to copy this one and replace the other two. So, so I'm just going to close these groups up so I can delete them more easily. They're already closed. That's group 19. Just so I know what it is when I um, when I come to delete it, I'm going to call it. Oh. Old GRP one, and this one can be old GRP two. And what? What? No, we don't want that. Are they separate? Yes, yeah, good. And this one is called Group Seventeen. We're going to call this one Small Terrace. Okay. Let's start copying it. See, look at Nightbot. Jeez. I think it's, it's one of you saying something and all it is is Nightbot spamming. Angle snap on. Okay. Uh, okay. Just before I do that, I'm going to delete that. I want to attach. Do I? Do I want to attach the columns with it? Let's try it with that.
Um, let's make one more copy. And let's delete the old one. Old group two, that's the one. And old group one. Let's just fly around the outside here and check it. Checking to make sure my um, my railings aren't going inside of my columns. Looks like there might be a problem there. Yeah, it looks like I'm just here as well. Okay, these ones are okay. This one is like, no, this one needs to be fixed. Let's jump into isolation mode. <laughs> Sniper Girl says, uh, wow, that's looking nice, thanks. Thank you, Sniper Girl. Uh, so let's jump back out because I need to attach the columns, uh, attach the railing ends here as well. I wonder why I must have forgotten. <laughs> But I've forgotten that if I copied it though. This one is correct. These ones aren't. Oh, anyway, <laughs> let's jump into isolation mode. Let us open up our group. And we're just going to cut the railing so it's not sticking through So let's do a quick slice. Wrong button. There we go. And this one. Uh, it's hard to imagine at the moment until it's textured up properly as well. It's going to look a little odd with those pink and red and green textures. Uh, but hopefully once we texture it up, it should be good. I, I have a new um, plugin that I'm going to be using as well when it comes time for us to, to send the models over to Substance Painter. Uh, instead of me saving them, like when, when we were doing the Unreal level, the UE4 level, I saved them out as an FBX and I loaded, I created a new project inside of Substance Painter, but there's this new plugin I have for Max that I'll show you guys in two secs that saves me some time. It's free, it's a free plugin if you use Max. Um, it's this one here, so if I hit that button, you can see this allows me to send whatever I have selected into Substance Painter, which then opens a standard project, loads the model in and gets everything ready for me to start texturing it up. So this saves a lot of time. It saves out the, um, the file to its own specific folder automatically. So if I want to come back at a later date and load it up inside of Substance Painter, I can. Uh, just point, wanted to point that out to you guys because it's a handy little plugin. It's free. So there you go. <laughs> we'll be using that to send um, pieces to Substance Painter. I tried to find one for Mari that did, did the same thing, but they just don't make one. They make one between Mari and Maya, but they don't make one for Mari and Max, which is a bit, bit annoying. But anyway. Maybe I'll have to write one myself. 
it's generally what happens if I don't find something I need. I have to create it myself in Max using Max Script. That's what I did with the uh, plant converter that converts plants between uh, speed tree and Eon view. Uh, I needed I needed a I needed to be able to do it, and there was nothing around that I could find to do it, so I had to make it. So I may have to do the same thing with Mari. This one. Because it would be handy, not having to save out models and load them in, just being able to send it backwards and forwards like you can between Max or and ZBrush, say, using Goz. Let us ungroup this, or open the group, we're not going to ungroup it. Yeah, let's slice it up. Mm, this one Close our group. Oh no. <laughs> Accidentally attached something to it and I don't know what that was. Stop. There we go. Uh, and the railings up. I got the railing sections actually. Let's do that. So I need that, I need, actually no, I don't need that, I just need that. We have some railings sticking inside of the column, so it's just taking up polys unnecessarily. So let's get rid of them. Looks like we're good to go. What happened there? Did I delete something by mistake? I bet I did, you know. Oh no, I know what that is. These need to be moved over. That's what that is. Ugh. Um, But why do they need to be moved over? That's the question. This one is correct. These two are not. Why? Why, 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 why? I'm thinking it's just a little bit out. So what I want to do here is I want to get rid of actually what I want to move this one. Let's go back to the local axes.
Am I back, guys and girls? You'll have to tell me if I'm back. I look like OBS disconnected for a minute. Don't know why. Again, I'm using the beta version of OBS at the moment. The, um... Yeah, the version... Just give me two seconds to see what's going on here. Hopefully I'm back. You'll have to tell me in chat. Everything looks good again. It's all green in OBS. But yeah, I'm using the release candidate version of uh, OBS. It's the new version that they released a few days ago. Looks like I'm only running in source quality though, I'm from freight. Which is a bummer. I know some of you can't watch on source, it's difficult. B is for buggy, that's right, Smurf Berry Barbecue. <laughs> and no sniper, I have not quit 3D modeling. I'm not going into IRL architect. Hope, obviously you guys can see me again. I know it's, I'm probably broadcasting in source, unfortunately. I'm coming we may have to just put up with it um, for the last half an hour of the stream I think my apologies it's not worth me starting and stopping the stream to try and get my um, my transcoding back in again yeah uh, OBS just crapped itself I don't know why it is the beta version it's the release candidate they're, they're testing it still so I should, should have expected there'd be problems and there were and there are <laughs> um this is only the second stream. Yesterday was fine, so who knows. It's all in the green now, so hopefully we're good. Sniperecker says, Sniper Girl, I'm getting the feeling that all this newspaper article should be put together and shown off as a piece in your portfolio. I think so too. You guys can see me, can't you? I am streaming, aren't I? Do I, do I have to check my stream? I'm pretty sure I'm streaming. Yes, I am streaming. There we go. You are live. Good to hear. Thanks, Android Dust. <laughs> wow. Just, you know, so thank God I have IBS opened over here. I, I feel sorry for those people that have maybe one screen when they stream. And IBS might crap out and they wouldn't even know it. They could be talking away like a madman to no one because the stream is down. I think we need to move this one as well. Trying to work out what I'm going to have for lunch today. I think I might have chili con carne. Why not? I like a good chili. Any reason I mentioned that is because I just heard my belly rumble. I've got tummy growls. Tummy growls. Sniper Echo says, Snuffy Girl, don't forget to add that bit about cowboy builders and architects not supplying kitchens and toilets. <gasps> oh, you so deserve a slap, Sniper Echo. You so deserve a slap. And you're going to get one. So cheeky. Let's move this one over. That's what I get for doing it on the local axes. Let's move back to the view. You, you, you're going to eat crow when I come when, when we return to that building and I put in a kitchen and a bathroom and a bedroom. You're going to eat cr so much crow. Sniper Echo. Uh, of course, I, I shouldn't just automatically assume that that was a problem with OBS. It could be the potato internet in, in Australia here just playing up like it usually does. That's a distinct possibility as well.
Okay, that's done. I think we just have one more we need to fix up here. Fake news, Sniper Echo says. <laughs> well, I was I was pleased to hear on the news that um, that you probably are not going to have another government shutdown in the US. That Mr. Trump is is going to accept whatever deal that they've come to, whatever agreement they've come to with the Democrats to avoid another government shutdown. Because that's not good for anyone. People lose um, those government workers rely on their salaries to eat and to live and to have a, put, a roof over their head. It's okay for the politicians in countries to take their sweet time and not do anything and they don't think about the poor people that rely on their wage to live. So I'm glad they might be able to come to some sort of agreement. Cowboys and Aliens. <laughs> that, was, that was a movie, wasn't it? With, that had um, the guy who plays James Bond, the latest James Bond, I can't remember his name. Wasn't he in that movie, Cowboys and Aliens? With Sean Connery, oh, not Sean Connery, with uh, Indiana Jones, Matt, what's his name? The guy that plays Indiana Jones. He was in it as well. It was a comic, then a movie. I didn't know it was a comic before it was a movie, Smurfberry. It's interesting. Again, the gap here is a bit wider than here, but that's good because I want to go through and make them a little bit less perfect anyway. Saves me having to do it after the fact. And let's do the last one here. Daniel Craig, yes, thank you. Uh, Fian. Fenor? Fenor, I think it is. <laughs> My apologies if I mutilate your usernames. Thank you, Fenor. Yes, I think it, it, Daniel Craig was the guy. And uh, who was the guy that played Indiana Jones? What was his name? Harrison Ford. Thank you very much, Smoker. Yes. Daniel Craig and Harrison Ford were in the movie. Yeah. It was surprisingly better than I thought it would be, to be honest with you, the movie. I thought it would be worse than it ended up being. I thought, it, you know, it, it, it was okay. <laughs> Good bit of escapist movie watching for a couple of hours. All right, now I think we have them all in the right spot. All of our railings are correct. So let's close up our group. Let's just get rid of these because we don't need them. I'm just going to move them all to the side. Sniper Girl says, uh, maybe. I'm not saying it was great. I'm not just not saying it was, but it wasn't terrible. It was different, you know. It's always good to see something different. Cowboys and aliens, you know. The title, I think, sounds a bit juvenile, but hey. I'm just going over this now to see if there's anything that needs to be changed. these pieces here I'm noticing they're not quite the same like if we look on this side 
the decorative pieces are right down toward the column ends. Whereas if we look here, looks like we, we should probably move this one down a little bit, I think. Just by one rung. So it uh, matches the other side. So I'm just going to move that down. And I'm going to move this one up. I'm going to undo that because I want to keep the spiky bit at the top. Or do I? No. Yes. No. Maybe. Yes, I do. Uh, but we need some little sections through there. Looks like I've forgotten the bit that sits underneath of these spiky bits. So, I'm going to move this one. Yes, hopefully the stream is back up for you guys. Everything looks green on my end. You tell me if, if, <laughs> I guess you can't tell me if the stream isn't up for you, you won't hear me, but hopefully it is. Hopefully it's all good. Uh, and again, I'm not going to straighten that out. I, I want it to be a bit different from the others. That's perfect. It's up for you, Android Lost. Good. <laughs> At least there's one person watching. It's showing green on my end, so everything should be good. Should be. Famous last words. Yeah, let me type into chat because uh, Sniper Echo probably can't hear me. Only 1080p, unfortunately. So yeah, I know some of you guys have problems watching in 1080p. I can't help it, I'm afraid. I'm just going to copy these little little top pieces for these three here that are missing it. Come on, don't be like that. Wow, why are you doing this? I might do this in the top viewport, it might be easier. I'm just holding down the shift key and moving one over here. Let's double check it. One more, we need one more. Well, you, you so annoying. It only, it only grabbed the, the, the front of the thing, not the back. So annoying.
Let's try that again. Let's see. Okay. No idea, not working for me at all. Probably just Twitch. Yeah. Sorry, Sniper. You probably can't hear me. Um, sorry, buddy. We're going to be finished. We're going to finish up soon anyway. I'm typing all this out for Sniper. Okay. Um, I just want to get this done and then we might we might uh, call it a day. Let's see how we go. <laughs> if I can ever get this selected, it's proving incredibly annoyingly difficult. See you, buddy. Uh, Andrew Lust says, I recently started using the Twitch desktop app instead of the browser. It works much better for me. Oh, that, that could be an option, actually. A few people have said that, that the, um, the Twitch app is working better for them. I see what it's doing. I see what you're doing. All right. You want to be like that, but you can be like that. Let us do a quick slice through here. Now let me see if you're going to behave yourself. And you're still not going to behave yourself, are you? No. Let's try it again. Let's do a quick slice through here. Um... And let's see if we can... Why are you being like this? Why you do this? Okay... No. Okay, get rid of you, get rid of you. I'm going to detach this, actually. It's going to be the easiest. That way I can work on it much more easily as a clone. Okay, that's better. Let's make sure our pivot's in the middle. Okay. Now I want to... What do I want to do? I want to move it so I can see it a little bit more easily. Now, quick slice. Delete. Finally. All right, let's go into the view. Again, let's make sure our pivot's in the middle. Make a copy. And one more copy. All right, let's just attach those to this part of the mesh. Okay, so end and end, that's good. End and end, that's good. And end and end, although this one can come down by one. So let's just move it down a little bit. Is that right? 
I'm pretty sure that's right. I think it needs to come down. Yeah. Yep. Maybe just down a little bit more. Let's go back to local. Alright, so now we need to move this one up. Back down a little bit, and we need one piece for there. So let us duplicate this piece. I think we're done with the railing. Well, I do want to go through, like I said, still, and just just make some alterations to one to, to a couple of the railings here and there, just to make them less perfect. I think that would be a good idea. But um, I think we may leave it there for today. I'm going to do a quick save so we don't lose the work we've done. I do want to thank you guys and girls very much though for being here, hanging out and watching. Um, and now I'm finishing up a little bit early today, nine minutes. Um, but uh, I'll be back again on Monday next week. We'll pick up where we left off here and um, all we have left to do is I just want to make some of the small adjustments to the railings to make them look less perfect. And we just need to take the steps here into ZBrush to, um, to make them look a bit more weathered and worn down. But we'll do we'll tackle that in ZBrush next week, and then we can start jumping into doing the um, the texturing in Substance Painter and in Mari. Thank you, Android Lust. I'm glad you like it. We're getting there. It's, like I said, it's difficult to to really get an idea of um, what it's going to look like with all these pink and green stuff, the untextured bits. Um, but it should start to come together much more once we start texturing it up. Hopefully it will look cool. I must remember next week too to, to make sure I, I grab that copy and bring it down the bottom here like we did here. I want to have a, a rail, uh, a border along the base there. But we don't have much left to texture and model now. Uh, sorry, much left, left, left to model. It's pretty much texturing soon. So again, thank you guys and girls very much for hanging out and watching and being here and putting up with the stream crashing out. Thank you OBS or thank you my potato internet whoever's to blame, so who knows. You guys have a great weekend uh, and hopefully I will see you all on Monday next week. <laughs> you guys and girls take care. See ya.